months ago, our next guest had a heated argument with her boyfriend after she turned down his marriage proposal. Seconds later, he shot and killed himself in front of her and their nine-month-old baby. The tape you're about to watch was done before the show. No one in our studio, including James, has seen it. Here is Alina's story. I'm trying to make contact today with Dean. Um, he was my boyfriend and also he is the father of our child. He actually had come over to my house to uh, propose marriage and he had an engagement ring. And um, we had been you know, arguing all week and um, I refused and he just shot himself. When Dean shot himself in front of me, it was like the world stopped. I'm a police officer, I see stuff like this all the time, but it's never, um, it's never the same when it actually happens to you. I feel really sorry for my daughter that she'll never get to know him because he really loved her. I think she got cheated. When I tell her that her father is in heaven, I want to know from the bottom of my heart that what I'm telling her is true. I'd like to believe that he's watching over her. And that's part of the big reason why I'm here today. Welcome, Alina. How are you? I'm doing good. Good, good. Thank you for being here. I know you lost your fiance, is that right? Boyfriend. Boyfriend. Well, could have been a fiance. So just um, if you relax and just we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. There's a lady here comes in with this gentleman here, who I believe is him, but I'm not sure yet, so we'll see. There's a lady here on the mother's side of the family, which means your grandmother on the mother's yes. side of the family. Mm -hmm. And she said you knew she was going to be here and you were hoping she'd come. Yeah. And she wants to say hi to you and uh, just bring in a lot of love here to you. And she's also, she's telling me her health is better now. Did your boyfriend kill himself? Yes. Did he shoot himself? Yes because I get different things different ways, okay? And what I picked up with this man standing here was um, gunpowder. His, his heart is torn too. His heart is torn too. And um, he's here with you very much. I know this thing, did he buy this yes. for you, please? Because he keeps on holding this. And he said, I bought it for her. Okay. And he said, he said to me, she wore it today because she knew that would attract me. Does that make sense? Yes. It's really, really outpouring here of this love for you. He wants me to please convey to you that you did not cause this. Okay? You understand that? Yes. He said she gets in these temper tantrums because you've gotten temper tantrums sometimes and you wouldn't listen to him and you'd be doing your own thing. And he said, she beats herself up now all the time. Was he married once before? Yes. That's what he said to me. He said, you know what? I didn't fix myself from that marriage before I went into this relationship. That's right. <laughs> OK. So he brought that stuff into this relationship. You understand that? You don't know the half of it yet. Oh, I know some of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to ask you, did he want a son, or did he have a son? We have a child. You have a child. A daughter. OK. Did you ever talk about wanting a son or wanting a boy? He wanted her to be a boy. <laughs> OK. You live in a house right now? Yes. Is there a mantle there? Do you have a mantle, like a fireplace at all? I do have a fireplace. OK. Is there like a mantle over that fireplace? Um, Is there an 8 by 10 picture of him? Oh, right, yeah, right on there. the other side of the fireplace. Thank you. Yes, there's Hello. a huge photograph of him and his daughter on the other side. Yes. That's what he's showing me. Yeah. He keeps on showing me going to that house where you are. Yeah. I'm sitting down and I'm drinking beer. <laughs> I'm watching TV, the same typical thing, watching TV, hanging out yeah. and playing with the baby. Yeah. Like this. And um, it's so interesting. He's also been receiving help when he passed over. Um, very much so. He needed help. I think that he took on a lot of depression from his work and himself. He wasn't secure. He wasn't balanced. Uh-huh, I got you. And is there a picture of the three of you together? Yes. Of you, the baby, and him? Yes, there's like only one picture of the three of us together. And he loves this picture. Yeah, he had it in his locker at work. Okay. We one more thing. Oh, God, it's, 
He wants me to, to ask you to please keep his memory alive for the baby. Okay? Will you please promise him that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, sweetie. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope that helped. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> now, Alina, James connected with your boyfriend, Dean, right away. Did your boyfriend kill himself? Um, I was there. I saw it. So, uh, you know what? It, it, takes the, it takes the edge off the memory. Um, just hearing from him again. I know this thing. Did he buy this? Yeah, he gave me this necklace, and it was not last Christmas, but the Christmas before that. Now, people in relationships, they tend to give each other things. Yes, <laughs> except that um, I never wear this thing, ever. And the reason why he said I wore it is exactly the reason why I wore it, because I thought that there was a, more of a chance for, for uh, Dean to come through. I'm saving it for his, for his daughter when she gets older. He wants me to, to ask you to please keep his memory alive for the baby. She didn't deserve what happened to her, but uh, she's going to always know that she has a dad in spirit, and then he's, he's watching over her and he sees her all the time. You did not cause this. You know, I'll tell you, you can go to spend thousands of dollars on therapy, and it won't do what this does. 